Hey guys, welcome back to another Joe and Julie fast food review. Today we are headed to our local Papa John's and we are excited to try their relatively new Papadillas. Oh boy, well, we need to pop over there and check them out. <laughs> 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 Up next, <laughs> stay tuned. Okay, guys, we are here. We are parked. We have our papadillas, which we just picked up, and we got one Philly cheesesteak. And then we got the other one as a meatball pepperoni because I know how much you like meatballs. I do. One thing I noticed, we didn't get any napkins. But anyway, guys, so let's open her up. Let's check it out. You open yours. I'll open mine. And it comes in a little diaper, guys. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm, that's good. Boy, oh boy, does that look really, really good. Mm, it's cut in half already, too. That's good. That's nice. It's got what? I said it's cut in half already. It is. Too. We don't even have to cut it in half, guys. <laughs> All right. Let me give you, let me take you in for the much deserved and detailed Papa close up. All righty. And here it is in all of its fine glory. Brand new from Papa John's. The Papadilla. And check that out, guys. I just need a little hand here. And look at that. This is the meatball pepperoni. Ran me a total of $6. And it is piping hot right out of the oven. It is burning my hands up. All right. Julie and I are going to give this a shot and tell you exactly what we think. All righty, and here it is in all of its fine glory. Brand new from Papa John's, the Philly cheesesteak Papadilla. And if I can get another hand in there, we can break this apart, guys. And I will show you the inside. And boy, oh boy, that smells like Philly cheesesteak all day. How does that look? Nicely baked. Six bucks at Papa John's. All right. Julie and I are going to give this a shot also and tell you exactly what we think. Okay, guys, so they look and smell absolutely gorgeous. They do. They really do. And which one would you like to try first? I have the Philly cheesesteak. So I say we go with that one. First. You go with this one first? All right. Do you want to open up the garlic um, dipping mm -hmm. sauce? Because we're going to do a dip a -roo, guys. Wow. Peppers, onions, cheese, Philly cheesesteak, all the way. All right. You can just put that there. All right. One for sweetie pie. Thanks, honey. Do you want to use the box as a bib <laughs> Well, being that you usually have difficulties, I'll let you. I know. I always have a lot of difficulties with yeah. everything, guys. That's just my nature. You just might want to turn that around a bit to make it easier for you. Do you like these things? Uh, sometimes. What depends. is this? This is called a jalapeno? No, it's not a jalapeno. It's just a what pepper. is it? It's just a pepper? Yeah. It's All right, guys. Pepper. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready. Are you ready? I'm Are you ready. sure you're ready? I am. Salute. Salute. Mm. Hot. <laughs> it is definitely hot. Mm -hmm. It is definitely ooey gooey. Yep. It is definitely oniony. Mm -hmm. Cheesy and peppers. Peppers. Didn't get much Philly cheesesteak on this, guys. 
And you know why? Because they really don't put much on. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it's not much at all. Can you guys see that? Let me give you the close-up on this, guys. I think you're going to be a little shocked at how we were freaking ripped off. All right, guys, and there's the innards. And look, I didn't really get much at all. This is crazy. No wonder why I couldn't taste it. Honestly, guys, I think I'm disappointed. I've never seen this is a freaking travesty. I, mean, I know. We expect to at least this to be filled up a little bit because it is folded in half, but at least... A little bit more of a filling. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Should I take it back? It's just by what they put on it. It's a well, change let's door. See, uh, they... Let's see if yours is any better. No. It's just what they no. recommend they make it. I was excited about this one, guys. I really am a little bit disappointed. Mm. Yep. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Take this as a warning. So, it's cheesy, mm -hmm. but it's, it's um, there is yeah, if you don't want any Philly cheesesteak in it, it's got good flavor, but <laughs> if the you... the peppers and onions, and the bread is, uh, that was a nice, uh, crispy on the bottom. I don't know. I'm disappointed. One dip. Mm -hmm. oh, this special garlic dipping sauce is really, really good. You yeah. put this on anything and it would make it good. Yeah. Um, this is a real disappointment, guys. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the very best, I'm giving this a rock solid too. What what is it? What does Sweetie Pie think? I agree because I really think they could have done a better job with the filling. You, I mean, yeah, it needs more. It needs a lot more. Yeah. Now, what do you think? You think we're going to get disappointed on this one? I don't know. It looks a little fuller. It does look fuller. Fatter, I should say. So maybe. It does maybe look more. fatter, guys. It does look fuller. I think they were um, skimping out on the uh, Philly cheesesteak. Well, who knows? Should we give them a close up of the innards, or? Huh? Of course, guys. I want to give you guys a close up. A exclusive of the innards, and we do have a little bit of a meatball. We got some pepperoni. We got some cheese. Yeah, we got better. a little more meatball. This does look acceptable yeah. for six bucks. So I'm going to give you mm -hmm. the one with the most meatball. Oh, thank you, honey. Or we could even, now nah, we'll, yeah. we could save a little bit for um, our son who is studying from home. Yep. He's now home from Buffalo, guys. Distance learning. Yep. We love having him home. <laughs> Actually, I think he is a magician in some ways. <laughs> because <gonna> disappear. <laughs> because if you go in the refrigerator and you're like, God, I, you know, I, I'm dying to have that White Castle that was left over. You'll be looking around and <laughs> it's gone. It, like, it, like it disappears. Like. We have actually problems with somebody in the house, like, <laughs> causing these things to disappear. Well, it's good, because it means there's no, the leftovers disappear, so we're not throwing it away, yeah, so that's yeah. good. That's one thing <laughs> I do notice, guys, is we have, like, no leftovers, but when Julie and I were home together, we would have a lot of leftovers, and being that whiskey is now gone, mm -hmm. um, we end up throwing a lot of stuff out, because um, we could only eat so much, and um, with with my son home you have no problems like that whatsoever guys well he's a young growing adult well yeah, well <laughs> so absolutely got an appetite yeah so it's good <laughs> it is good and it's great having him home and i just want to wish everybody out there um i hope everybody's well i hope everybody's doing okay i happen to like being home with my family i think it's absolutely wonderful i love the the time it's great. I love being home. 
Um, it's just me. So I'm, I'm pretty much a homebody. So this, I have no problems being home. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. You can always find things to do at home. Yep. All right, guys. So let's not keep everybody waiting. <laughs> they don't want to hear it. Listen to ours. Yeah. Rap. Yeah. All right, sweetie pie. Right. You're going to go first. All right. All right. We here. ready here? Here we go. What's the matter? I'm just going to hold it up here. It's a little bit oh, more here, greasy. Take it. No, no. Just hold it. Take it. it. I get, there's two boxes. Okay. Yeah. You just got to get me to the other box. There. Yeah, well, you know, guys, there's always a solution to every mm -hmm. problem. And this is how we're going to do this one. Dilute. Dilute. I'm picking up a lot of Parmesan, guys. Mm -hmm. Me too. A little bit too much. Yeah. You don't think so? Mm -mm. Nice and spicy too. It is spicy. It's got this this weird taste to it. I don't know. Oh, uh, the meatballs. Is it the meatball? Yeah, I think so. Let me try the meatball solo. Pepperoni. It's like pepperoni. Yeah, the meatballs are a little bit on the spicy side. I think they're, um, they have a lot of Parmesan in them. Mm hmm A little too much for me. Not bad. It's a little different. The pepperoni is really good, though. Mm -hmm. The pepperoni is really yeah. good. I see the meatball, too. Maybe they're... A little more, a lot of breading, maybe breading out. No, I think the, the meatballs oh. to me have this like Parmesan, um, really, really heavy Parmesan flavor. I'm not really crazy about their meatballs. Pepperoni's good. The sauce is okay. It's a little tart. Yeah. What do you think? I agree. At, with what? I said a lot. <laughs> with what all you said. Everything I said? Mm hmm you agreed? Mm -hmm. What? Which which part, Julie? What do you think of the meatballs? She's the meatball expert. That's why I'm like, you They're know. not like homemade meatballs. They're, I guess, the meat type of meatballs you expect when you're going out to like a chain like like um, Pizza Hut or Papa oh, John's really? or whatever. They, that's kind of how they remind me of. They're not like if you go to like a regular mom and pop's. No, I understand pizza. that. Absolutely. So, so what do you think of them? Uh, not bad. They're okay. They're passable. They're good. They're not... Um, passable? Well, uh, Okay. Don't know good. that. I'm not expecting them to taste like if I went to mom and dad's pizzeria type of a meatball. I expect them to taste more like a chain store or a chain type of a meatball. I was... Commercial tasting, I guess is the way I would say it. I was... that home touch. I was actually expecting more of a neutral, meaty meatball without um, overloaded in the Parmesan area, guys. I, quite frankly, I was really, really psyched for this review, but um, it, it's really ending up to be a very, very big disappointment to me. Um, uh, this, I really can't recommend it. You're better off going to your local mom and pop um, pizza place and getting a calzone and they know how to make calzone guys or a uh, or a pinwheel or something like that this this is no good I'm gonna give this on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the very best I'm giving this a 4 you guys got the red light I wouldn't even freaking go I'm not gonna eat any more of this it, this is um, disappointing on a scale of 1 to 10 for sweetie pie what do you give it um I'm actually going to give it a little bit higher. Oh, yeah? I'm going to give it maybe like a five and a half, six because of the idea, the concept. It just needs to be worked out a little bit more. You know, they needed more filling in the Philly cheesesteak. And this one, I happen to like the spice. I think it, 
really kind of complements the pepperoni because the pepperoni is really spicy, so the cheese is kind of good. Um, and the meatball, it's okay. It's nothing, you know, really to write home about, but it does work well. And for, for the price, I don't think it's too bad. So, so you say are... About like five and a half. Five and medium. a half is failing. Well, it's like a medium thing. It's not something you want to run out and get. It's something, you know, I don't know. I just think it's... Well, you would recommend this to my audience? Is um, that what you're saying? A five is horrible. A five is not even... 6.5 well, is passing. That, I don't feel like it really is like fabulous and I don't think it's great and uh, I think it's like okay and a five is an okay for you okay. yeah let's say it's got an okay so it's like you know try it maybe for you it might be a better experience maybe it won't sort of I think so, so. I honestly mens mens. <laughs> I think that you and I can do a much better job making our own papadillas well, I'm sure and could. maybe that's what we should do is take your homemade meatballs and get some really good steak and make them as a copycat and bring them over here to Papa John's and have them try ours. No. <laughs> well, we can try this, make this our own, try our own version of it to see how it be. Anyway, guys, um, that's our review. Really disappointed. Can't uh, recommend them. Uh, red light, uh, I wouldn't... Um, I definitely wouldn't go back and get these, and I don't want to see you guys wasting your money because all you're getting is uh, carb overload, and that's basically it. Yeah. Now, Julie's got a little bit of a different opinion on the the meatball. She feels it's um, you get, you know, it's a franchise operation. You get what you get, and that's it's what you can expect. So you're not going to expect something fabulous, but you, you know. You don't expect something as it is. Anyway, guys, just to reiterate, I hope everybody's doing well. Please be safe. Keep your distance. Social distancing is really mm -hmm. in now. Um, wash okay. your hands frequently. Keep them out of your mouth, your eyes, your ears. Try. It's it's uh, definitely hard for me because I always got my fingers in my nose. <laughs> 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 all right guys no we're you kidding we're just kidding but um we're gonna keep doing videos for as long as we can so we're gonna do our part all you guys gotta do is watch comment like thumbs up <laughs> thumbs down i don't really we don't really care if it's a thumbs down it you know is if i can get a reaction out of you guys to do something that's that means the that means that it makes it all worth it for me now, I've rambled on for quite a while. Would you agree? <laughs> you the rambling man? Yeah. I don't know if I'm the rambling man. <laughs> Today, then. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. So long.